My name is Sam, I'm with uh, Rainbow Starlight. We're gonna do a quick playthrough, at least partial play playthrough of Hoot Stooges Starting Solo, which is a introductory game, a solo player that lets you learn many of the more core mechanics for Hoot Stooges. Now, when you start, the game's mostly set up for you. You've got the lineup uh, already set up and the city already set up. The only thing we need to do is draw some cards. So we go to the draw thing and you fill up your hand to five cards. Boom, and here's your cards right here. And then the turn counter is set on turn one. So we're good to go. And the first thing that happens in your turn is you gain one hooch, which is the currency in the game for each territory you control. Right now we only control this one territory. So I'm gonna gain one hooch for that. Now we do have this handy hooch counter right here. You can use to count your hooch. Today I'm just gonna use a bunch of these tokens. Just so it's, it's, it's more visually easy to see how it works with, if you have these, a lot of these physical tokens, so you can see how the, the hooch works. So after you gain your hooch during the control step, next thing to do is to play the cards from your hand. These free money cards, let me just pull one up here, I'll play it and then pull it up here. They have a discard value here, so you can discard this card for one hooch. Put this one right in the discard pile, and then put this one right in the discard pile. And if you hover the blue token over thing until it turns red, then it'll pop right on. So you just go whoop, boom, and put it in the discard pile. So I played three of those, so that'll give me three more hooch. I gained one for the area, and then three more. So I have four all together. So I can see what I might want to purchase for these four this guy's pretty good I like him too maybe not so much on him he's okay for two and he only costs one that's nice I think my favorite choice out of there is gonna be night stick it's a good little stooge so I'll spend the four hooch one two three four and when you buy them you go straight into your discard pile and then you get a new card and put it into the lineup and now we have smirk giggles hanging out there now these faceless goons you can drop them right into play when they'll be able to attack and such you can all they also have a discard value on them so if I wanted to, I could discard him for one more hooch, but I'm going to put him into play. I'll just stick him right over next to this other faceless goon. That seems to be about the end of this turn. So at the end of the turn, I'm going to draw back up to five cards and discard any cards I have remaining. But you shouldn't because it's best to just play all the cards. Uh, so I draw five new cards, and then I'm going to Switch the turn counter to turn two. Oh, there it is. Right here. Boom. Turn two. Search for clues. Okay. So first thing, I'm going to get one hooch for my location. Do, 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 do. Then I've got some free money cards. I'm going to go one, two. Oops. That's what happens if you don't do it right. Boom. And then three. On the free money. Spoon. So three more hooches there. Give me four again. I think I want to get this guy. Yeah, he's pretty good for four. So I'm going to go put him into my discard pile and spend these four hooch. Groovy. And then I've got another faceless goon I can throw out there. He'll hang out with those other faces goons, and then I can play my attack card. Boom, which um, 
lets me attack. This one has a discard value of zero, so you can only use it to attack, or or to, if you don't want to play it, you can do it at the end of turn. Now, these guys are, are kind of, you know, my, my phase goons are pretty small. They've got a minus three attack and a one health, so I don't really feel like going up against Fuzzy Poe or Kid Gambit right now. But I can attack the location I already control, which isn't guarded by anybody. But that ability isn't going to help me, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and discard my attack card, which is unfortunate, but such is the way. Then at the end of turn, I draw five cards, but I don't have any cards here. So I'm going to sh uh, flip this over. And then if you, if you select the deck, you just click it once and then it highlights. Then you can do stuff like move it around and you can highlight it to then shuffle it up. And then we can draw five new cards and that'll be the end of that turn. I'll go to the turn counter and we're going to turn three secrets. The whole, the whole object of this game is to get across the board here in 10 turns. So that's what we're going to try and do. We still have to be in a tournament to get one hooch for my location I control. I can throw out Night Stick right here. And I'll throw out Mitt's Match, um, his little buddy. And then uh, I'm going to have three free monies again. So one, two. Come on. There we go. Three free monies. Boom. So I get three more hooches. Oh, and it looks like I forgot to fill the lineup last time. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Boom. We got, ooh, Chester Curls, which is awesome because he costs zero to bring out. So that's nice. If I had remembered that last time, then I could have grabbed him already. But I'll stick him in my discard pile and get another card. Whoops. And put it right up. Oh, that's the whole deck. We can't put the whole deck in the... Line up, that'd be cheating. Okay, boom. And what do we get? Rod Trigger Man. Little Stunt Devil's not bad. He only costs one. Apparently, Johnny might be better for two. Yeah, I'm going to go with Friendly Jobby. I'm spend two hooch. One, two. And get Friendly Jobby. He's going to go right into my discard pile. I'm going to save these two hooches for next turn. Well, that'll leave me four. Yeah, I'll try that. So I draw five new cards at the end of this turn. Oh, there's only four here, so I draw the four. Oh, yeah, I should uh, place the line up here. Ooh, Snitchy the Rat. See, it's a good thing we did that right now, because he costs zero. And we can stake him in there. See, Snitchy, he's cost zero. So we got both of the the freebies already. Bankroll Bill, oh, he's good. He, uh, but I already... Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and... I drew my cards for next turn already, but that's okay. We'll bend it a little. Why not spend two? I'm going to get Bankroll Bill up in there. Ooh, Molly, she only costs one. Cool. Do, 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 do. Okay, so then I would draw my cards. We're up to four. I only have four, but I need five. So I'm going to go ahead and select this deck and then uh, flip it over and shuffle it up and stick it right back in the draw pile and then draw my last card I need. Boom. Oh, okay. And so then I get the turn counter. And we're going to turn four. First strike. Good. So I get one hooch for my location. I'm going to go ahead and play Snitchy the Rat out there. He's a great character. I'm going to play three more free monies. One, two, three. And then I play the attack card. Oh, wait, I get my money first. Can't, can't forget to remember. One, two, three. So I got four monies. Don't really want to buy any more Stooges right now. 
So I'm going to play the attack card. And now I've got a nice big army here. I'm going to go ahead and try and go for Kid Gambit or Fuzzy Poe. I'll see what these locations I can get are. The manufacturing plant. It's pretty good to get free cards with that. And the retail district. That's pretty good too. I'm going to go for the manufacturing plant. So to do that, I have to get through both Kid Gambit here and this token. So um, Kid Gambit has a health of five and this token has a health of one, but I have to attack the stooge before I can go for the token. So to attack, you start with one of your stooges and I'll start with Nightstick because he's got my plus three attack here. And to attack with him, I'm gonna turn him sideways, which is called swing. And so I rotate him 90 degrees and I'm going to roll a die. So he's got plus three attack. He's got five health. So I need to get like a two or higher on the die. Now, the thing is, if I roll a one, I'm going to get busted. And we'll go over that if it happens. Two, I'm good. Two plus three is five. That's enough to take out Kid Gambit. And then I have to go for this token here. So my next highest attacker is going to be Mitt's match. Got plus two attack. So... As long as he doesn't get busted, he will hit it. So I'm going to rotate him 90 degrees to swing him. And then roll the die. Six. Boom. That is amazing because if you get a six, then you get the ability for free. So I don't have to pay the three to get this ability. So I can, at this point, remove this token. Oh, went bad. Okay, then I can put it right in the bag here to keep things nice and organized. And then... For free, since I got the six here, which is a critical hit, I can put the top card of the main deck into my discard pile for free, which would normally cost three, but that six lets me get it for free. I probably made that overly clear now. So boom, I take this card and stick it into my discard pile and flip it over and put it right there. Ooh, power will. That was a good play. And now, since I took over this territory, I can put one of my tokens up on there. I put my attack card in my discard pile. And then at the end of my turn, I'm going to unswing the Stooges. Sometimes they get a little stuck, so you just move them around if they're stuck, and then they'll work. Boom. And then I'm going to draw back up to five cards. And then I do my turn counter. And we're going to turn five. Standoff. Groovy. Mm. So at the beginning of turn five here, I've got now I've got two territories. So I get one, two hoosh tokens. Um, I also get uh, two free money cards here. So one free money, two free monies. So I got a nice big pile of hooch. Yeah. And so now I'll play out these stooges. Got bankroll bill. I've got Chester curls and friendly jobby. We've got an army going on. Can't stop me now. But I don't have an attack card, but I do want to attack. And here's the cool thing about this game is that we've got this hooch chart and at any time you can spend hooch to get any of these abilities on the card so for six hooch i can attack but spending hooch for this effect requires a police check first where i have to roll a die and basically if i get a one i'm going to get busted but if i get a six then i can get the ability for free so i'll make the police check by rolling the die four we're good so i spend six hooch one two Three, four, five, six, and I can attack. Um, so I'm trying to get across the board here. I can either go after uh, Una Frau is guarding this location. She's got a bunch of attack. Oops, that's the token. This location is the power plant, and they can activate the ability of another turf I control, which is good because I'll control the manufacturing plant. And downtown, yeah, I'm going to go after this middle one here. So she's got five health. 
I'm going to swing again with Nightstick because he's got plus three attack. So we'll turn him sideways. Just check him out real quick. Boom. And we're going to roll the die and add his attack value and try and get five. Now, if he doesn't get her, she'll swing back. But he's probably going to get her six. Boom. Six is an automatic victory, even if I didn't have the attack. That way, these faceless goons could potentially take her out. But we got her. She goes down. And then I have to attack the token, which has a health of one. Oh, I got bankroll. Bill's got plus three attacks. I'm going to swing him. Come on, Bill. There we go. And we're going to roll the die. Four. We're good because we only need to get that one. So we remove the token. Oh, it always happens to me that way. Okay. And we go in the bag. And then I can put one of my tokens on the power plant. It's a successful turn. So then at the end of the turn, I'm going to unswing these guys. One, two. I'm going to draw up to five cards here. Oh, because there's only one card there. So then when there's only one card, you have to drag it into your hand. And then I'm going to flip this over and rotate it, shuffle it, and stick it right in the draw pile. And then draw the remaining four cards I need. And so we've got a new turn. And so we're going to turn six. Surprise. Cool. I've got three territories now. So one, two, three hooch tokens. And then I've got a bunch of free monies too. I got one. Come on, free money. You put in a card. Boom. Two, three. Oops. Four free monies. Boom. And I need some more hoosh tokens here. So I get one, two, three, four hooch tokens for that. Those free monies. I'll put power will into play. And again, I'm going to use the hoosh chart to spend six to get an attack. So I roll the die to make the police check. Two, we're safe. We didn't get the one. When you do get busted, you have to discard one of your students from play, a card from your hand, and all of your hooch you have. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, so from here, I can attack any uh, territories that are adjacent to any of my territories I control. So I couldn't attack here or here. They're too far away. I can't attack. You know, one of these two, if I feel like it. Um, let's see what's going on. Roscoe's pretty tough. He's got six health. She's got six health and three attack. She's guarding the salvage yard, which is a nice card. And he's guarding the hospital. Oh, I'm going to attack the hospital. So, just to show you what happens when I miss, I'm going to go ahead and swing with this faceless goon here, just for... Demonstration purposes. Although it's probably not the best idea. We turn him sideways and we're going to roll the die. Four. But he's got a minus three attack. So we've got a total of one. And Roscoe here has a health of six. So we're not going to get Roscoe. So Roscoe claps back. He's got a plus two attack. He rolls the die. And he's got five plus two is seven, which is way more than this faceless goon's health. So he's going to go into my discard pile. But now we'll play smart. We'll get Nightstick going on. Uh, we're going to swing him. Come on, Nightstick. Swing him, and he roll the die. He gets a two. So two plus three is five. Not enough to get Roscoe Sawbuck. Roscoe Sawbuck, again, is going to swing back. He rolls the die. And he's got 
two attack, and he gets a two on the die, so he's got a total of four. Nightstick has a health of three. Oh, poor Nightstick. He's going in the discard pile. So, I want revenge. I'm going to send Bankroll Bill over. Bankroll Bill's got an attack of three. And he's going to swing him and roll the die. Two. So he's got a total of five, which is no good because we need a six. Roscoe's going to swing back. Oh, this turn's not going so good for me. That's He's got attack of plus two. And this guy's got a health of one. He's a, Bill's not that tough. So Bill's going to the discard pile. Do, do, do. I can decide whether to keep going or to stop attacking. I think I will go ahead and Mitt's match has attack of plus two. I'm going to go ahead and send him on over. Oh, come on, Mitz. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not used to this interface yet. Boom. Okay. And roll the die. Come on, buddy. Big numbers. Yeah. Boom. Roscoe Sawbuck to the discard pile. And now we have to attack the token. Chester Curls. I'm going to send him on over. No. No. I'm going to send Power Will on over. Power Will's got plus two attack. So I'm going to rotate him. 90 degrees, roll the die. That works. So we remove the token. I'll put it in this bag. And then I can put one of my tokens right onto the hospital. Now for three, which is what I have, I can play a stooge from my discard pile. So I will do that. I'll pay one, two, Three, because I you only do this right after you attack it. You can, it. Like that's why it's good to attack your own turf sometimes, so you get that ability. So what I got, Nightstick. I'm gonna put Nightstick back into play from the hospital ability, and I'm out of cards. So that seems to be the end of that turn, and so I will draw five new cards. I only have three here, so I will go ahead and draw those three, and then I'm gonna flip this over and shuffle it and put it in my draw pile and draw two more oh yeah and then I need to unswing these stooges groovy and so there's a new turn here going to turn seven Accusations. Okay, so I get one, two, three, four from my territories. Throw out a faceless goon. I've got three free monies. One, two, three. So, one, two, three. Got a big pile of hooch. And an attack card. I'm going to try and get across the board here. Ken Ha is guarding the public works. Oh, that's pretty handy. I like the public works. Uh, and then, what's his face? Drawing the crossroad. Yeah, I'm going to go after the public works from here. For boom to the public works with this attack card. Boom. Let's go ahead and start with Nightstick. Boom. Five. So he's got plus three. That's eight. And so Tommy the Gun. Ooh, just barely get him. He goes down because he's got a health of seven. And then I have to attack this token here. So I'm going to send Power Will. Power Will's got plus two attack. So I will turn him sideways. Go sideways. Come on, Will. I'm so uncooperative. And we will roll the die. And so he's got an attack of plus two, and the die says two, so that's four, which is more than this 
one we need. So this dies, this counter is going to go in the bag, and we get the crossroads. Oh, I went to the wrong one. Anyways, that's cool. I can spend one to draw a card from the crossroads. So I'll go ahead and do that. This might be a good card. One free money. So it kind of walks off. So I get that one back. Boom. And then I'm going to use the hoose chart to do six and make an attack. So I roll the die for a police check. And so one wasn't a one. So I'm good. One, two, three, four, five, six. And make another attack. Now these guys are still swung. But I'm going to send Mitt's match over to the construction site or the wastelands. I'll go for the wastelands. So Mitt's going to swing 90 degrees. Roll the die. So he's got a total of five, but that's not enough to get the god grandma because she's got a health of seven. So she's going to swing back. She's got attack of plus two. And so she got seven. That's way more than his health. So he's going to the discard pile. Who do I have left? I have a bunch of guys. Might be able to get her on a six. I'm going to try it. I'm going to send over friendly jobby. He's got attack of plus one. Still have to get a six on any of these guys because she's got attack of seven. Or health of seven. Roll the die. Five plus one is six. That's not enough to get her health of seven. So she's going to swing back. Roll the die. Three. She's got attack of plus three, which is five. He's got health of two. Friendly job. He goes down. It's not looking good. Looks like we're going to go with Snitchy. I'm just probably stop, but I'm going to keep going. Go, Snitchy, go. Get a six. Oh, one. So this is good because I want to show you what happens on a one. Um, so I have to discard one of my Stooges because I get busted. And he goes to the discard pile. And then um, I have to discard a card from my hand. I don't have any of those, so I'm good there. And then all of my hooch goes away. And then, but the turn's still going. So she's going to go ahead and swing back on Snitchy. And she gets a one, but she's got attack of plus two. He's got a health of one. So three against one. Snitchy's going down. Running out of Stooges. So I'll probably just keep that there for now. I think that's all the main mechanics to the game. So go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good time playing the Hooch Stooges starting solo. And we will be working on the two-player uh, full game uh, very soon. So you can get an introduction to that. Thanks for playing. Hope you have a good time.